Fernando. Time intelligence. Turning auto date time off isn't it removing the hierarchy and format from date fields, or is it just me? It's definitely well, not Adam, just I you. Think, yeah, I think this is this is your question, isn't it? Because you just released that cool video. That's right. Yes. Power BI admins hate him. <laughs> Power BI admins love me. What are you talking about? Because he knows what this one about? trick. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So <laughs> the smart. answer there is uh, yes. That removes. So when you turn off the auto date time, it does remove it. Having that enabled for any date column in your model will end up rem or creating these auto local date time tables, um, yeah. calculated tables under the hood for each column that's there. Um, there are there are some scenarios where that's useful, right? Especially if you've got a small model. Although I would I would caveat this and say I can repro the issue in the video I just put in the chat uh, with a small model, um, but there are uh, cases where it's it's easy for folks, especially if they're not familiar with DAX or you know if they just want to do something really quick, down and dirty. It's a small data set, um, you know that it's it's useful, uh, especially for people just ramping up on Power BI. Uh, That's the key. Right. Um, That's but, the key right there. But if you're yep. doing like an enterprise model or you're doing something like production wise for like finance or HR or something like that, you should really look, look at the star schema, look at having a central calendar table to do all of your time intelligence off of in a consistent fashion um, and then disable the auto date time uh, for that. Um, there are other ways sure. to drop those tables as well. So if you, even if you have the auto date time feature enabled, um, there is, uh, if you have a central date table and you create a relationship on that from the key to the calendar table, that will automatically drop that hidden local date time table as well. Um, so there are ways to do that. Um, so the other thing, just so folks understand what we're talking about here, let me just jump over real quick. Um, so if you're in Power BI desktop, you go to file, get rid of that, we go to options and then options. There are two options that you have here. Uh, so the first one is going to be on the global data load. There is a, uh, the time intelligence auto date time for new files. This is a global setting. So this will just disable it going forward for new files. The other option here is under the current file. So you could do this just for a single uh, Power BI desktop file. You can uncheck that. The minute you uncheck that, those hidden local date time tables go away. Um, so that's... That is what that question is referring to. So yes, you will, that hierarchy, it will go away. You would have to recreate that on your calendar table. So I, I want to say two things to this point. Uh, and we've been saying this for years. Number one, if you're an enterprise of any size, I don't care if you're 20 people or if you're 20, you know, 200,000 people, you should have an authoritative date source in your, in, in your environment somewhere. I don't care if that's a silly Excel file or whatever it is, you should have an authoritative date source, preferably be a database, right? So that we can connect up to it, but have it be a singular source of truth around date in your, in, in your environment. Okay. That, and then you don't need to use the internally built one. It should have all of that built out for you. Right. So that's number one. Number two, the scenario in which that you demo here, Adam, is uh, the, the bigger problem is not the time intelligence, in my view, it's the fact that the data is bad. They have bad data in there. Not in you know, mm, the year uh, 9999. Nope. Nope. I, I a, disagree. That is not bad data. From a data where a lot of people do that from a data warehousing perspective to signify that that date is out of range. Uh, so that's a common. If you go look at the wide world importers sample database, uh -huh. it has it in it. I, that doesn't mean it's right. I'm sorry. You could. The, you can go off and you can make it the year, you know, 3000 and you could still like you get rid at that point. I'm not really good at math, but you get rid of over 6,000 years worth of data. Okay. And, and that puts it out of range. Just say, <laughs> you win. I, I want to, you win. I, I, I do. I do want to jump in. I do want to jump in with 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 the usability, and there is value in having that auto date time intelligence. And I understand why it's on by default, yep. because you don't want to burden a new user with oh now you oh you have to know all this time. It can become overwhelming. The fact that this thing will go off and do that is a good thing. I, I think it just needs to be used in the right place. You know, much like publish the web, yep. um, it can it can it can be it can be misused. And it shouldn't be over. 
it has its place in, in terms of just, you know, banging a quick model together or, or, or new users or, or showing instruction. I mean, we do our all day session. We rely on that capability because we don't want to go into uh, designing a date table for, for pulling this stuff in. So it has its place. I don't want to completely lose sight of it and say, you know, you have to feel dirty if you use it. No, it's got its place. <laughs> He's not disagreeing with me, Jace, but he wants to. He wants Jason's, to. He got very quiet. That's not like Jason. Jason's no, it's playing nice. I said publish the web. <laughs> uh, so the the other thing I'll say is this is also a great example, of, you know, for that central date table. And uh, you guys mentioned pulling that from like a data warehouse and a central repository. Going back to the data flows versus data set. I've seen that as great examples that people use of using data flows to have that central mm -hmm. calendar table mm -hmm. uh, and then pulling that into other data sets, right? So so that is offloaded. So people don't necessarily need to think about, okay, what should that calendar table be? What are the fiscal months? What are those consistent items for the business? Have that in a data flow that's out there for people to consume in their data sets. Uh, and then you can go with that. So, and, and if I'm you don't have a table, you don't like my Y three K problem uh, that I was trying to create <laughs> with uh, with the date with the dates there, Adam. I'm just saying, uh, you know, you say, say what you want. I, I and, and I'm going to come back to it. Putting things that far out of reach, I think, gives you just way too much. But um, I, I really was. I, I think that we need to create a Y three K problem for us all to go solve. You know, if we were happen to live that long, which yeah. none of our data should <laughs> live that long, first of all. So I don't care about like, that's just too far out of reach. Yeah, I think putting it out of reach is one thing, but you could put it out of reach reasonably. Um, so I'll, I'll leave it at that because yep. people were asking for a rumble. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm coming back with, uh, with my <laughs> with my answer to your statement. I agree with you, yeah. putting it out of reach is, is the right way to go, yeah. but uh, put it reasonably out of reach. The, the, the other thing out I, of reach I just is want to add into the discussion. I don't... Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, if, if you may not have also if you don't have a time date uh, table available to you, but you want to uh, use this kind of type of a pattern, I mean you can generate a time date table in in Power Query, right? Right in M. And you, you can do it in Dax. A, a series of dates. It's very easy. And if you do it, yeah, that's right. I was going to get there. You're, you're cutting my grass. Oh. <laughs> but you can also generate a time date table that's a function of the date you actually have, and so you can yes. get really efficient in terms of uh, how, but, but that's that, that's a that's 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 the one cool trick I like to use in a lot, in a lot of my data. Um, the the, but, yeah, the thing about if you do it in DAX, just be careful. If you use, excuse me, if you mm. use the calendar auto function mm -hmm. and the scenario in the video I posted exists, you will have the same problem as the hidden mm -hmm. local date time. So be aware of that. Right. I, I love Jessica's comment. So she said that she finds when she's training people in a corporate environment that they don't even know that this even exists yeah. and i agree yeah. wholeheartedly okay. agree with that like that even if it's there yes it's 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 a lower barrier of adoption for folks that are just coming in new but the problem is they don't know that that's even there um or the behaviors of it or potentially the consequences of it um and i i would even say folks that know power bi and they know they're comfortable with dax and they're doing this they don't even know it was there so the scenario that i had i was actually working with a customer as a bigger customer uh, they've been using Power BI very successfully, and they're like, "Look, you know, we want we, you know, our data model's really big." And I'm like, "Yeah, let's optimize that." And they didn't even know it was turned on. So, yes, hundred percent. Matthew thinks we shouldn't do it in DAX. I'm just saying he seems to have a fairly strong opinion about that. <laughs> <sighs> I thought we weren't allowed to swear on here. Hang on. Well, he's not. He's not. Oh, that's Zachary. true. That's true. I, yes, I, I was told I, I could say f cancer because yes. you know yes. that, that was. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, yeah. Yes, because yeah, we had that whole conversation beforehand. Yep, and then I like Alex's comment as well. Uh, so every dimension should have an unknown value. That way, you can ensure referential integrity in your relationship, which can speed things up. 